Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Microsoft Office Learning. Today video is quite important and this video is part 2 of the shortcut keys in Microsoft Excel. If you haven't watched the part 1 of the shortcut keys, I'm giving the link in below description, you can check it out. Let's start the today videos. Very first shortcut key is protect worksheet. If I want to protect this worksheet, so shortcut key is Alt H O P. A window will pop up. Now I need to type the password to protect it. I will type 1, 2, 3, press enter. It's asking me confirm password. I'll again type 1, 2, 3 and press enter. Now this worksheet has been protected. Now you can see from the above ribbon all the options are invalid now. If you want to type anything here, I want to type anything, it won't let me type. So this worksheet is protected now. For unprotecting, again, Alt H O P. First, enter the password one two three. Okay, now this worksheet is unprotected. Move on to the next shortcut key. Next shortcut key is minimize workbook. If I want to minimize this workbook, the shortcut key is Control F9. This workbook has been minimized. I want to open again, then click here, and you'll come back. Number third is squeeze workbook. If I want to squeeze this workbook, the shortcut key is Control F5. Now you can see its size has been squeezed now this workbook size is squeezed now if i want to maximize the workbook which is the next shortcut key then shortcut key is the window upward arrow if i press window upward arrow so it will maximize this workbook next shortcut key is move in data if i want to move in data for example if i want to move in this data i will press i will keep holding control button and if I press the right arrow, it will take me to the right to the right hand side of this setup. If I keep holding the control and press down arrow, it will take me to the right in the bottom of the data. Next shortcut key is select entire data, place the cursor anywhere in data, press control A. So it will select the entire data for me. Next shortcut key is the select data column or row for example if i want to select this column so what i will do i will press ctrl shift and, and and press downward arrow so it will select this first entire column for me if i want to select the entire data towards the right side as well then keep holding ctrl shift and then press right arrow so it will select the entire data for me let's move on to the next shortcut key next shortcut key is move between windows if i want to switch between the windows if i want to move from the this workbook to another workbook so i will use i'll keep holding alt and press tab so it will take me to another workbook if i again press alt tab so it will take me back to my original workbook so next shortcut key is enter date if i want to enter date in any cell the shortcut key is control and the semicolon if you press that enter so it will place the date for me the current date for me next shortcut key is enter time if i want to enter time in any cell the shortcut key is control shift and the colon sign enter now you can see it's showing me the current time next shortcut key is the format number in comma format for example these numbers if I want to convert this number into comma format and then I will select the entire numbers and then press Control shift 1. Now you can see these numbers have been converted into commas. Press Control z to go back. Next shortcut key is format number in currency format. I want to convert this number into currency format. So I will select these numbers and then press Control shift and 4. Now you can see it has selected the dollar sign with these numbers. Control Z to go back. Next shortcut key is format number in percentage. If I want to convert this number into percentage, then select these numbers and then press Control Shift and 5. So it will convert these decimals into percentages. Move on to the next shortcut key. Next shortcut key is show or stroke height ribbon. You can see the ribbon above. If I press Ctrl F1, now you can see this ribbon has been hidden now. 
If I want to unhide this ribbon, again press Ctrl F1. Now this home tab, this home ribbon is visible now. So this is the way you can hide and unhide your ribbon. Next shortcut key is ascending data. Sending data from largest to smallest. If I want to have a ascending in my this data, so I will select this data and then press Alt H S O. So it's asking me you want to expand the selection, press enter. Now you can see it is showing me the largest figure at the top and then going back the smallest 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 figure all the smallest figure very smallest figure at the bottom control z to go back again next shortcut key is descending data if i want to have a descending order in my data so i will select the data and then press or h s s so it's asking me expand the selection or continue with the selection if i select the continue with the selection press ok so it will just sort this selected column if i select the expand the selection so it will it will apply on all the data within this worksheet so press ctrl z now you can see the data has been sorted from the smallest to largest largest figure at the bottom and smallest is at the start ctrl z to go back let's move on to the next shortcut next shortcut key is assign cell name i can assign cell name to any cell for example if i assign this cell if i want to assign this cell as some name so i will press ctrl f3 so a window will pop up i'll select the new and then i will type the time press ok now this this cell name is time now for, for anywhere if i type t is equal to t i m so now you can see very first cell name is time if i select this one so it will select this cell for me so this cell name is time now move on to the next shortcut next shortcut key is go to if i want to go to any cell if i want to go to the any cell name so i will press ctrl g so now you can see there are different cell name here Time is one of the cell name. If I press OK, so it will take me to that cell. It can, it can take me to the, the specific cell. It can take me to the specific table anywhere within that worksheet if I want to go or within that workbook if I want to go. Number 19 shortcut key is insert hyperlink. If I want to insert hyperlink on this figure, then shortcut key is Control K. A window will pop up. You can create hyperlink anywhere within this document if I want to create hyperlink with this worksheet press ok so this hyperlink has been created if I click on this it will take me to that worksheet very last is insert chart if I want to insert my chart then select that data and then press F11 now you can see it has created the chart in new worksheet for me go back to the Go back to the my original worksheet. So these were the 20 shortcut keys. This was the part two of the video. Part two has already been released, and I'm giving the link in below description. Hit the like button if you like this video, and leave the comment in below section if this video is useful. Make sure to subscribe my channel if you want to watch more shortcut keys and more formulas. So I'll see you guys in next video.